this season what has happened is that I it came to present this an exercise with many people some of you we have tried didn't with you before and uh, I felt it has been a very easy invitation and facilitating towards uh, the place within you which is timeless and so why not again remind you even of that that can be a start it it went a bit like this that let's imagine that you all came and you said um I really want to to meet you. I really want to come home to myself. Whatever that may mean for you. I am taking it to mean that you are searching for liberation. You are searching for that joy which will not leave you. For a happiness that does not go away. You are searching for a life which does not have death at the end of it. Or something. I am raising the stakes very high. Okay, so I'm going to take it at that level. So let's say your request has come to me like this, and I find you uh, knocking at the door. You're knocking at my door, and uh, I said, "Please come in to each one. Please come in, but before you do." Please leave your mind outside. Strange thing to hear, no? Please leave your mind, and by mind I mean all your ideas about life, about what you think life is or should be, or have been or can be in the future. Just drop all your ideas for a moment. You know, you have to be totally empty when you come into this space. And all your ideas you have about yourself. Because we have We've been living with many, many ideas we've held about ourselves. They keep changing, by the way. So they are not fixed. We try something out for a while, and it screws up somewhere. And then we reinvent or upgrade the ego or whatever it is that we do. So I'm saying, leave all of this outside. Leave all of this outside. Okay? And even your desires for the future, and you know. How you want the world to be, how you want your life to be, how how you want your family to be, how you want your children. Leave all your projections, your desires, and memories, and identity. Just just leave it for a moment. We'll leave it outside and while you're here to fulfill your highest your highest aspiration. If it let's say it is for freedom, okay? When we are finished with the exercise, which will not be very long, you may go back out and pick up your stuff that you had before. And as I said before, don't worry, it will be there, waiting, <laughs> waiting for you. Okay? So you can pick that up any time. So right now, you are simply going to enter and leave all your stories and the traffic of thoughts and and uh, judgments and fears and ideations and stuff leave that do we feel we can do this for a moment or two yes. yeah okay when you feel you've done that hmm? come in close the door come come on in you're here And I won't be giving you some new ideas to keep now. So nothing new. So any feeling like, okay, so okay, we have done it, now what? Now what's going to happen now? So I'm going to say to you, not even now what? No now what? Just as it is. No next. So immediately. You're only here. And don't fall asleep. You're only here. You're only here. Hmm?
What is this that is only here? Are you here or not? Yes, you are here. Senses are here. Senses we have not suppressed. So the senses are there. The senses are not the mind. The senses are here. The power to perceive is here. The ability to experience is here. Also, I am not asking you, don't use your imagination also. That's cheating. No imagination. Just sober looking. Now that these thoughts have been stripped away, and been left outside and so on, and any projections about the future, I have said, don't engage with that. Only now, only now. Hmm? All the thought activity, hmm? all your self-assessment, all the idea you have about yourself, we don't want. We are not going to tell any stories today. I don't want to hear your story, and I am not going to tell you anything about my story. I just want to meet you, not you plus, just you. So without your story, without imagination, without judgments, desires and attachments, without all of these, are you you? Are you not here? Hmm? Excluding these other things, are you not here? A little feedback will help now and again. Hmm. What is it that simply is this kind of is isness that is here <coughs> uncreated unsupported by you is anybody exerting any effort no. Simply, you are here. Whatever it is that you are experiencing, or recognizing, or perceiving, hmm, is it a painful discovery? Is it a disappointing discovery? Hmm. Is there any amputations or something? No. Can this Whatever it is, I'm not going to give it a name. I'm just saying at the moment, whatever it is, this is this isness. Hmm? Can it go away? Can it fade? Like it really is strong in here. Oh, but if you go to the shop, it will be weak. Could it be like that? What religion does it belong to? No, it's not. Yeah. 
right now does it matter if you are you know a really good person or not at your best does it matter Somebody said, I can see purple sky. Don't get involved with purple sky or purple rain or anything like that. Hmm? Any image, any image is only a cloud floating by. Don't develop any relationship with anything that you see for a moment. Let them just appear and disappear. Don't force anything. Don't hold on or push away anything. Mm -hmm. This feeling or vibration of isness, just whatever it isness, mm -hmm. is it different from you who are here? Does the different days, the different days, make any difference to it? Like if it was Tuesday, it would feel different from a Wednesday. No, no difference. What time of day is it here? In this, no time. And you're sure you're not just making this up, you're not imagining this. Hello? No, 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 you're not imagining it. Imagining it. Do you feel worried in yourself about anything? Agitated about anything? Can this, that we are in directly, directly perceived, can it come to an end? No. So if you are the same as it, can I put it, can you come to an end? Well, that's worth discovering, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 